welcome everyone. Uh, it's good to be together again. <clears throat> Just that we have this time together. Nothing else really matters. Just this moment. And that's why I love doing these because it just allows me just to stop and just to be very present. And to remember that that is the only thing. So thank you for joining me. So today I thought the theme, I know I put it out a bit later than normal. Uh, there's been lots been happening really. Um, but tomorrow is the um, Beyond the Body online retreat. So that's gonna be a very beautiful time that we spend together. And so I thought I'd, I'd talk about that today. Because that's the that's the ultimate experience. That's what the Course is teaching us. And for me, that was the Holy Grail for me um, when I first got the Course in Miracles. Because I was used to reading um, non-dual, sort of Hindu stuff, Indian philosophy, if you like. Um, but somehow when, when a Course in Miracles came along, and I got to lesson 199. I am not a body, I am free. Um, something just said, yes, I knew, I know that that's true. It's a direct experience that the Course is, is pointing to for us to really experience that truthfully and fully. That I am not a body. And so something, when I first heard that, I thought, yes, this is what I want. So it took me 199 lessons to get there. <laughs> and yeah, it reminded me of the, the Indian philosophy. So, so something really resonated with me with that. And I knew that the course was teaching that. So it was like, great, perfect. I'm in, I'm in the right place. This is what I really, really want. And so I thought about that actually, it was funny because as I was walking up to the studio today, I was walking up the stairs and I was thinking about the lesson 199 and thinking, yeah, God, the first time I read it, I said, I, not, I knew, I, th this is what I said to myself, I said, I knew that was true. I knew it was true that I wasn't a body. But I didn't know, I didn't know where um, that was coming from inside of me to be able to say, I knew that that was true. And so I thought about that and I thought, wow, somewhere in my experience, in my consciousness, whatever you want to call it, I must have remembered not being a body. So I've already actually had the experience, <laughs> which is of course true. We all know that. It's not that we're gaining anything. In fact, we're letting go of everything to gain everything. That's the whole point that you have remembered that you are not a body. There has been a point in your mind where you have realized that fully and completely. And now the problem is, is you're just seeing the past and you're just reflecting doubt thoughts in your own mind. And that is what's stopping you from actually remembering that you are completely the light. So, you know, that's why he, he talks about it. It's like an amnesia. It's a hallucination that I even believe that I am a body. It's like that's insanity. <laughs> of course, to the world, it's insane to think that you're not a body. But um, it's actually sane to realize that you're not a body because that's reality. And so what, what, what we're experiencing is not reality. And so that really sort of stirred something in my heart. I thought, 
wow, there was a moment, there clearly was a moment in my mind that I remembered that I wasn't a body. So I'm just remembering that again. And that's what we're doing together. That's the depth of what we're doing. So the thing is, is I don't, I don't remember it, so I can't explain it to you or talk to you from the perspective of something that has been beyond the body, because I can't, I can't remember that I did it. Clearly, I did, but I, but I can't remember it. So I'm not coming from that, from that direct, direct place. I've never had the full realization, the revelation that I was completely light and the body had completely disappeared. I haven't, that hasn't been fully realized. Yeah, that's what the show's all about. That's what we're doing together, aren't we? <laughs> so it just becomes a prayer. Because in actual fact, when the, when the theme was put out, um, I thought, how, how, how am I supposed to talk about this? I've not, I, I haven't been that far, so I, I can't be a hypocrite and sit there and say, yeah, I'm gonna talk about beyond the body because I just don't know. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like in the old, old Zen teachings, you can only teach what you've, what you've learned. <laughs> it's kind of pretty, 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 pretty basic. And of course the ego can say, well, yeah, you can't really talk about it, but no, we can't. I can't talk about it, but I can pray about it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm praying for the experience. That's what I, that, that, that's what I want. I know it, I know it's true. I know it's absolutely true. And so now it's just we're joining in this deep, deep prayer together that I want you to experience that you're not a body and to experience everything. Beyond all that is everything. And just as I was sat here, I was just reminded that in actual fact, it's only one instant that is needed for you to remember that you're not a body. And then after that, you will never see the body. This is his words, he says, in a course, he says, you will never see the body again the same. Just one single instant, that's it. So it doesn't even have to be long, it's just, and then you realize you're not a body and it will never be the same to you again. That's what I love about what he teaches because it's just so simple and I just love simple. I'm just a simple, I'm just a simple being. So anything that's simple is, is, is up my street. And I'm like, okay, great, that's all I need to know. It's just gonna be one single instant, that's all it takes. So that instant can be now. We don't have to wait but we have to desire it above everything else. I have to desire it above everything else. And if I'm not, I have to see, I have to see what my blocks are. That's my only job here. I have no other job, just to see my blocks, just to see what guilt's in my mind, just to see what fear's in my mind, shame, embarrassment, self-hatred, you name it, that's what's actually stopping it. And in actual fact, is what, <laughs> what I love about The Course in Miracles is it doesn't mess around, because he says that anything that is not love is murderous. Pretty strong, isn't it? Anything that you're thinking outside of love is completely and utterly murderous. And of course, that's what the ego, ego thinking is murderous. And as he teaches, a, a frown is death. Anything that's not supremely joyful is not who you are and is not your reality and is not your truth. But that's the problem is deep down inside, there is such a strong belief in death you're, you're murdering yourself. <laughs> Everything.
every moment that you're not remembering that you are the light. So as he says, you are either in heaven or you're in hell. <laughs> there's, no, there's no middle ground in any of this. There's no halfway to heaven. You're either remembering it or you're not remembering it. And that's what I love. Okay, brilliant. So great, I'm, I'm actually not remembering it. Okay, so I'm in hell. Okay, that's good to know. I'm in complete hell. I'm still in ego thinking. Yep, really good. And I need to remember. It's a wake up call. And I cannot wake myself. The Holy Spirit has to wake me. And so it's very simple, isn't it? I'm, we are learning together to choose the right mind or the wrong mind. But what we're actually learning to do this is without guilt. And what we're learning is, is that we want everything that is unconscious to come up. And so we don't know, we don't, we don't know half of our blocks. We don't know the way, but there is someone who does know the way. And that's what we must follow. And that is in your mind. There is a guide. The truth is in your mind. It's not outside. So as he says, it's like, well, when the error was made, I corrected it straight away. And now you're still believing in the error. But the correction is exactly where you are looking at the error is. It's just masked. I'm just deciding on the error rather than the truth. So I've just got to let go of my error. It's very simple, it's just there. It's almost like the clouds and it going over the sun. It's like if I say to you and it's on a cloudy day and I say to you, the, cloud, the sun doesn't exist anymore because look up in the sky, there's no sun. And you'd say, no, don't be silly. It's because it's clouds up in the sky. And I'll say, yeah, but the sun's not there any longer. All we can see is clouds, so how do you know it exists? And you say to me, well, we know that it exists because when the clouds clear, we will see the sun again. So why don't we wait here and we'll wait for the clouds to clear and then we'll see the sun again. All right, so we sit there and we wait. And as the clouds pass by, see, I told you, there's the sun. Oh, it was there all along. Yeah, yeah, it never goes anywhere. It's, 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 it's always there. Oh, that's good to know. And that's the same as the truth. <laughs> so it's kind of good. We can look up at the sun, can't we? And we can remember, okay, that's the light. That's the truth. We can use it as a little symbol in our mind when we forget that it's just being clouded over by attack thoughts. And so that's the, oh, this is just what we're remembering together, aren't we? We're just remembering the self-inquiry of every day, of every moment, of every second. Like, as he says, you know, the best time that you can actually spend in time and space is actually looking at what you believe and your thoughts. And when you begin to look, you will start to see things that you didn't think were actually there. You'll see the insanity of your own mind. And that's when the ego wants to get you frightened to say, you are completely and utterly mad. You carry on looking at yourself in this way. God knows what's going to happen to you. But the Holy Spirit is saying, no, we have to look over the error because in actual fact, the error is not real and therefore it has nothing to fear. And that's why one of my favourite sections, and I often share that with people, is above the battleground. Chapter 23. Is that you can rise above everything. You rise above the error. And you will see no error no longer. You'll be completely above it. And so that's what we want. It's beautiful actually, it's just reminding me of like so many people. I remember when I very first got into meditation and I loved it. And I was telling everybody, oh, you've got to meditate, it's absolutely brilliant. 
And then what I got was a lot of feedback from a lot of people who I'd shared this with. And they said, but it's just so dark. I just go into my mind and I just see all of this, oh God, nonsense there. And I'm just sitting with it. It's just too much. I'd rather just, I'd rather just distract away. It's just, it's just un unbelievable what's in there. It's just making me feel worse. And it's like, yeah, the ego is going to do everything to stop you from find, finding the light within your mind. And the whole point is, is that darkness has been ruling you for so long. And when you go inside, now what was unconscious is now becoming conscious and then can be released to the light. And it was actually beautiful, actually, because a, a really, really good friend of mine, um, I had a phone call with him the other day. And I said, oh, how, 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 how's it going? He said, yeah, really, really good. And he said, some really interesting things have been coming up for me. I said, oh, yeah. And he said, and this guy, I'll just describe his personality. He is extremely kind, extremely giving person, uh, very um, outgoing. He's got a very loving personality. He's very, very curious. Um, and you would say as a person, he's a, he's, he's a really good person. He's always wanting to do his best by others and by himself. And he's always wanting to look at his mind and, and, what, and what's happening for him. He's, and he, he's, into, he's into mindfulness and the, and, 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 the Buddhist, and the Buddhist thing. That's what he really enjoys. And so he said, yeah, something's really been interesting. He said, well, you know, since, since, since we've known each other, he said, I didn't actually realise that I was angry. And I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> and he said, um, I've had these symptoms of uh, eczema all over his body since childhood. And um, he's tried absolutely everything. He's gone the medical route. He's gone alternative. He's, you know, you name it. He's, he, he's had a go at everything. Read up all about it. And nothing has ever worked. Change his diet. And so he was b been beating himself up saying, God, if only, if only I'd have st stuck to the vegan diet, but it was just too much. If only I'd have done, kept to that, it seemed to help. Um, but nothing was, w was getting there. And um, it was interesting because when he was younger, his mum used to say to him, she used to say to him, your eczema looks angry. And he would say to himself, that is the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. How can eczema be angry? Yeah, and of course he wasn't. He wasn't doing his do, do, doing his mind training. But he said over the last few months, um, so we we'll say six months of it, really flaring up and really being bad. Everyone around him was saying, "Are you? Is there some sort of anger there that you're not dealing with?" And he's like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really, I'm not really experiencing it. It's not kind of natural to him. So, and he just kept getting this reflection of, are you sure it's not to do with anger? And he's like, I don't know what everybody's going on about. So when the lockdown came, there wasn't, there wasn't much to do. He, lived, he lives in England and um, at that time you could go out you could do, uh, you could go for a walk or a bike ride, but only only for an hour a day. And so he said, what he, what he decided to do is he thought, okay then, everybody keeps telling me that there's this anger there. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out on my bike and I'm just gonna focus my attention and I'm just gonna basically pray, meditate, and I'm just gonna say, if this is down there, um, then come to the surface to be to be revealed so he'd go out on his bike for an hour and he said and it was amazing he said soon enough vroom, this anger come up he said this pure violence i did not even know was there in my mind and it was just about nothing and he said it was absolutely horrible and I said, oh, wow. He said, I said, well, what, what, well, what was there? He said, well, I just didn't realise. He said there were thoughts of rape, murder, you name it. It was just there in my mind. I just could not believe it. 
But I just thought, okay, I'm just gonna let this up. So he made this his practice. He made this, made this his practice of going out every day for an hour on his bike ride, and every day this absolute rage that was inside of him, and he was just like shouting as he was riding his bike. He was just shouting and just letting it all up. And I guess it was kind of beautiful with him being on the bike, he was able to let that, let that energy, energy go. And he said, you're not gonna believe it. He said, after, after a few weeks of doing this, it all dissipated. And next minute, I have no eczema. And for now, months now, not one piece of eczema has come up on my, up on my body. It's completely and utterly gone. And he said, it literally went when I let up all that anger. And I've said, yeah, exactly, because I've been talking to him about this for some time. I talked to him and I said to him, your beliefs are what are generating this in, in, in the body. There's something that you're believing in. And he'd say, how is it something I'm believing in that's affecting my body? And so it was just getting to that belief and he just didn't realise that he was angry. And so I think the point is, is I think we can, we can... The ego wants to beat ourselves up, you know, like what for him, this guy, you, you, you just wouldn't imagine he, he, he'd, he'd be thinking like that, murder, rape, all these horrible things that we think, oh God, that, that's only for awful people, only awful people think about those things. Obviously I don't, only in secret, don't tell anybody. I've thought about raping someone, don't think about, I've thought about murdering people. And of course, everybody's, everybody's thought that, but nobody wants to actually openly admit their true thoughts, pretending to be a good person. And that's what I love about my friend, actually, he's never been shy about actually, hey, this is what thoughts come up in my mind. Because it's beautiful, because he's so innocent, he sees them and he knows that they're only, they're only thoughts in his mind. They're just simply thoughts that can be released. And I think he, he sh shows a beautiful demonstration of when you release that, you know, everything just completely transforms. In this case, it was, it was, it was to, do, to do with his body. And that's what the Course teaches, doesn't it? That, that um, what you're not releasing is either gonna be projected onto the body or projected outward into the world. We project it onto others. And that's often our, our, big, our big block because we see it in the world, but we don't see it in ourselves. So, you know, obviously you had these thoughts, rape and, 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 what, and, and whatever. And yet um, it's like out there, it's others. Others on the, on, on, on the news that we see are murderers, obviously, and here's the rapist and here's the paedophiles and here's these and here's this. What, you're actually everything, you're generating it all. So if, 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 if there's paedophiles on the TV, guess what, it's you. You know, it's not outside of your mind. <laughs> You've probably been, we've all been everything. You generated the whole world. So it's all, it, 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 it's all you, mass murder, uh, apocalypse, the whole thing. It, 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 it was you. So that's all in that's all in the ego ego realm. So we take ownership for that, and we say, "Wow." But the truth is that you can actually let it all go because it's actually not real. That's the whole point. It's just made to be really, really real. So that's why we want to hide it because the ego says that is you. It wants you to believe that you are those murderous thoughts. And in truth, there can never, ever be murder. There's never been murder. And nothing can disrupt the kingdom of heaven whatsoever. It knows nothing of any of this whatsoever. Completely and utterly made up. So it's the same as your dreams, isn't it? Your nighttime dreams when you wake up in the morning. And it might have been a bit crazy and you're like, God, oh, thank God that was a dream. That's exactly what the world is. It's like to become the dream of the dream, to see it's just not real. It's not the true reality. And that's the same as the body. The body's just projected, it's just remembered. You're just remembering and remembering and rem remembering a false identity that is the body. But just as easy as you remembered it, that you can actually let go of it and remember the, 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 the truth. 
but we have to get down to those blocks. And so my friend did that for everyone. So praise be of the Lord for that. Thank you so much. What a great gift that was to absolutely everyone, one and all, that he got down to that in his own mind and saw it in his own mind. And here I am, I get to get to share it with everybody. So it's all of our release. And that's what we are doing. So although we may not, not have been beyond the body, you might have been, and I'm, I'm, I'm truly happy for you and jealous at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're just let, we're just letting go of all of that and so that's all we're doing aren't we we can we, we, we can only just look at the blocks of what what's in our own mind our own guilt our own suffering and it's all really you know the ego i i i i, I see it there's one thing that really triggers me and it's seemingly outside of me but it's like if i hear someone being a victim it's like i just want to kill them i just think oh god that's not me i just want to just end them i'm just like oh god get away from me i just can't i can't bear to look i can't bear to look at this it always gives, brings up resistance in me <laughs> <laughs> and straight away, of course, the ego's like, well, that's not you, obviously. It's not it's not us, is it? The victims are out the victims are outside. It's like, oh God, come on. And it's like, of course, that's the that's the fatal game that I don't want to look at that I'm a victim. Most of us don't really want to look at that. There's a lot of things we don't want to look at, but we have to keep keep finally looking at that, and that's what that's what I'm looking at all the time i find it quite interesting i find it quite exciting actually because when these things are coming up they're coming up to 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 go out and you know that's what i felt like i felt like a bit of a victim these last two weeks everything seemed to be <laughs> i do I, I i do maintenance around here and so <laughs> it's kind of a great place to feel guilty when things are going wrong and maybe I didn't look after things to the best of my ability and things like this. And it's like, oh my God. And then it shows up in a leak or whatever. And it's like, well, it's not really about that. It's just really about my mind, isn't it? It's just about the guilt in my own mind. And then it just shows up everywhere of like things going wrong. And then it's like the ego just wants to say, well, fix it in form and everything's gonna be fine. And it's like, well, that's not gonna do anything. I'm never gonna get it in form. I could, I can, you know, I can chase around this place until I'm blue in the face of trying to get everything up together in a sort of like good, good sort of standard. And then there'd be another problem. That's, that's form for you. So if I'm looking for my enlightenment in the form, and if I finally fix everything, I'm going to be enlightened. I mean, I'm just kidding myself, aren't I? It's actually just the guilt, the shame the victim story that is covering all of that up. And it's like, don't look at that, just keep pretending to fix the form. And the ego will always continue to find something else wrong. So as either something's wrong with somebody else, and of course we, we love that one, don't we? We love to project it onto others. It's, it's much easier that way to not see it in our own mind. And so, yeah, th this is really the only thing we can talk about when we're talking about beyond the body is what's stopping us from being beyond the body right now. Because probably you're sitting there thinking that there's a body talking to you, <laughs> a.k.a. me. And you're sitting there as a body listening to another body. And so if we're sitting there and we're not seeing it as holy mind, then we've got a serious problem going on, haven't we? We've got an identity crisis going on. That if it was pure radiant light, shining on pure radiant light then you're like okay that's fair enough that's what you're seeing that's good that, that, that that's that's beautiful then that's mission complete but until that point this is why we're joining together um in this very deep holy purpose of seeing the pure light and so that's why we strengthen this prayer together in our hearts I really want to go beyond the body. It's everything to me. It's the deepest prayer and the deepest desire of my heart. I want to see it. 
I want to see the whole thing. Whatever it takes. Whatever this dismantling has to look like. And however hard it's going to seem to look, I'm going to face it. determined to see this differently. And beyond this world, there is a world I want. That's what I want. And that's where all our prayers should be aimed. Don't aim your prayers in the world because you will only get worldly, worldly prayers. We have to go higher. You have to pray to be beyond the body. And as he says in that section, actually, in that lesson, sorry, that now, there's, once you get to 199, if you ain't got there, I'm sorry for spoiling it for you. But in that um, lesson, he says, this should be repeated in every lesson going forward now. I am not a body, I am free. For I am still as God created me. No, it's no wonder everything's, it's like this week's been, or these, this month has been quite of a rock. <laughs> so much has been happening to put me off the path. And it's like, no. You know, I, as I talked about last week, I don't care if the judgments are going to come. Bring it on. I want to see it all. That's the only way I'm going to clear it. So in actual fact, when, when things look like they're going wrong and the mind shifts into judgmental mode or whatever it is, don't beat yourself up. Be thankful that it's come because it's come for you to look at it with the Holy Spirit and so you can release it. So don't be disheartened. And I'm saying that because I've been very disheartened at times when that's happened after being in a beautiful space and then boom, the drop comes. And this is just part of the journey. There's gonna be ups and downs until there's no more downs. That's part of the game. 
And so when you hit the low, don't worry, we're in this together. And it's like you just wanna, this is what I'm doing anyway, I can just share with you what I'm doing. So it's like I feel like I, I've undone the door of judgment. Why did I do things and all this nonsense? And it's like, well, actually it's good because now I get to look at it again. And uh, you know, I've seen, I've seen these thoughts again and that's the great thing because all of a sudden you start to see that it's <laughs> history repeating itself over and over and over again. The story that you've been telling yourself until the story's over. So it's like, oh, okay, here's the story again. I don't have to associate with it as much as I was. I can start again, it's like another step. I've like removed myself slightly again. I'm taking another step towards the dream of the dream. No, this isn't actually really me. I may be in the world of judgment again, but now I'm observing it and I'm watching it and I'm moving away from it and I'm letting it go. And this is just another wash, isn't it? It's just another cleanse in the mind that needs to happen. And so don't be discouraged if you come down off a beautiful high. It's just now, it's healing time. Enjoy the highs, celebrate the highs, I do. I love it, it's awesome. It's wonderful to feel that peace, to feel that love, to feel that joy. It's wonderful to see everything anew, to see I have a new perspective, it's great, it's, it's wonderful. Take it in. And then when the door of judgment opens, the door of judgment opens, big deal. It's time to heal. It's time to handle that over again. Because really and truthfully, it's the Holy Spirit saying, hey, here's some more that you're ready to lift up, to let go of. And by letting go of all of that, you know, I'm seeing it now as I'm talking. It's like, it's like, it's heavy, you know. Doubt thoughts are heaviness. The body is heavy. And so by lifting up all these thoughts, you're gonna be, become lighter and lighter. And the lighter you become, the lighter, <laughs> the lighter you become, guess what? No more body. And you are the light. So it's just like that cleansing, isn't it? It's like when you clean your house, you feel much better. It's like, oh God, I wish I'd done this earlier, but now is the right time. And that's what we're doing, we're cleansing the mind. That's the only thing we're concerned with. There's nothing else that you need to focus on. And this is what's gonna get you beyond the body. So we're just inspiring one another today again to be like, yeah, I'm really gonna look at my mind. I'm really gonna clean my mind. I'm really gonna see where that guilt is and keep raising it up. And to remember that we're all in this together, that we're all doing this together. Take strength in that. That when that is happening to you, remember that everyone's behind you because that's the truth. You know, that's what I love when I first had the Course in Miracles. It's like, in actual fact, nothing can be against you. <laughs> I'm like, what? Everything is actually with you. And everything is actually cheering you along because it knows who you are. So no matter what seems to happen in form, everything is there raising you up in every single given moment. And that never changes, it's completely changeless. That's where you know that you're everything. Everything is now. And you are everything. And that will never, ever change. So that's a good way, actually, to, to look at our mind. That when we see, every, see the things that are changing, we know that that's of the ego. Because we see that in the body, don't we? Most people concern themselves about that. I'm getting older. The body seems to be changing. <laughs> and as Jesus teaches, well, if it's changing, 
then it's not worth worrying about because it's not real. What you want to concern your mind with is the changeless reality. Ah, oh, I love that. The changeless reality, oh my God. So that's what we're heading towards. So I'm hoping this has been a nice warm up for uh, the weekend. I won't be talking on this online retreat, but we have an amazing, well, it's gonna be mind blowing. I, 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 I feel it. So I really wanna have an experience of beyond the body. That's the only reason why I'm turning up there, that's for sure. I will be there with you. You probably won't see me. I'll be doing Zoom. So <laughs> I'll be cheering you all on in the background, that's for sure, as always. And I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> that, uh, so Friday night, we're going to have Francis Zoo. So I'm just letting the cat out of the bag here. <laughs> so tomorrow night in this very room where I'm sat, I'm in the studio. We're gonna have Francis Zoo, he's gonna do two hours on Beyond the Body. So that's gonna be a complete treat for us all. And then unfortunately, I can't share everything with you about what's going to go on on Saturday, because it's gonna be a very, very special Saturday. And that is gonna be done solely by David. The whole of Saturday is being taken by David. And I can't say any more than that, other than there's a very, very special movie. And I know that he's super hyped up about this. And so he is just gonna be on fire, I can feel it. And so it's gonna be a super monumental uh, Saturday. So as I shared in one of my posts, buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. So that's Saturday. <laughs> so I don't know what's going to happen on Sunday. <laughs> Supposedly we have a Sunday. Maybe we won't have a Sunday because we'd have all disappeared. Who's to say what's going to go on after that? I don't know. Um, but if we are still here and if there is anything to talk about after the Saturday, and then possibly will be a Sunday, then the Sunday is going to be Francis and David together. So if you're um and Aaron about um, signing up, I suggest you get straight off of this um, YouTube channel and you sign yourself up. Because I mean, what else is there to do really? So there you go, there's my little spill for that. Um, looking forward to seeing you all there. So big blessings to you all. Let's expect miracles always. Stay in the miracle. Don't worry about those ego thoughts. Go towards them, go through them. Don't be afraid. The light is there. The light is in us all. The miracle is always there. And when we've had enough of miracles, guess what? It's going to be revelation time. And so that's what we're gunning for. We're gunning for the full, complete revelation. Because that's what you are. And that's what I want for you. And that's what I want for you, for, for myself. So many blessings, everyone. Looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow. And looking forward to seeing you over the weekend. So um, I'll put a link in there for you. Or maybe someone can put a link in there for us while we're talking. Beyond the Body online retreat. You can find it on the Living Miracles um, website. Livingmiracles.org slash events. And it will be there. So sign yourselves up. Um, as I said, I'll be, I'll be in the background. But I'll be certainly cheering you on. So yeah, many blessings everybody. Let's expect miracles and lots of love to you. Yeah. Bye for now.